All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 69. We're on decimal still. Today, we're talking about comparing and ordering decimal numbers. So, basically, you got two rules to think about here. Number one, compare the whole number side of the decimals first. Remember, whole number side is anything on the left side of the decimal. Then compare each decimal place individually, because if you don't, it's going to mess with you, and you're going to see some examples of that in just a few minutes. So let's go ahead and just compare these two guys just looking at the whole number side. Here's 11 on the whole number side. Here's 1. Well, we've known that since about first or second grade, that the whole number 11 is greater than the whole number 1, right? So not too tough so far. The tricky part here is going to be when you have to compare each decimal place individually. So compare the whole number side of the decimal first there, then compare each decimal place. Because if you take a look here on the whole number side, here's the whole number 1, and Here's the whole number one. When you cross over into the decimal, you're going to see 21 here, and you're going to see 101, which most kids have been programmed to think of 101. And you're going to go, 101 is bigger than 21. But you got to compare each decimal place individually. Start off with the digit in the tenths place. And we said tenths are like dimes, right? Here is the digit in the tenths place. What is bigger, two dimes or one dime? Well, two dimes is bigger because 21 hundredths is actually a larger piece of a whole than 101 thousandths. Because really, this is one dime, zero pennies, and one tenth of a penny. This is two dimes and one penny, 21 cents and barely over 10 cents. 21 hundredths is greater than 101 thousandths. Okay, so that's the trickiest part of our operation a day. Let's dive right in. So we're going to start off comparing. Again, always start with the whole number side. Here's 12 and 3 tenths. Here is 1 and 23 hundredths. Well, that one's pretty easy. The whole number 12 is greater than the whole number 1. Let's try it down here. Here's a 5 on the whole number side. Here's a 5 on the whole number side. Uh-oh, I got a tie. Here's a 0 in the tenths. Here's a 0 in the tenths. We're still tied. Here's 2 in the hundredths. Here's 0 in the hundredths. What's more, 2 pennies or 0 pennies? 2 pennies win. 5 and 2 hundredths is greater than 5 and 2 thousandths. We're going to do it again. Let's start off looking at the whole numbers. 123 and 4 tenths compared to 123 and 40 hundredths. So we're still at a tie right now. Let's take it to the tenths. Here's 4 in the tenths. Here's another four in the tenths. We're still tied. At the hundredths, here's nothing. And here's zero. Now, you've heard me say this over and over and over, that nothing is the same as zero. In this case, these guys are equal. 123 and four tenths is exactly the same as 123 and 40 hundredths. Let's try it again down here. Here I have 12 and 6 tenths, so I have 
12 in my whole number side, and here is 12 and 59 hundredths. I have 12 and I have 12. Here in the tenths place, I have a 6. Here in the tenths place, I only have a 5. What is greater, 6 dimes or 5 dimes? 6 dimes is going to be greater, right? Because if you wrote in a little invisible zero right here, you could think of this as $12.60 compared to $12.59. Because 6 dimes would give you 60 cents, wouldn't it? Check out this one. We got to arrange these numbers in order from least to greatest. So let's start off with the whole number side. Here's one, here's one, here's one, and here's one. We have a tie. One in twelve hundredths, one in two hundredths, one in two tenths, and one and three thousandths. So let's go ahead and take a look at our tenths place. Here's one in the tenths place. Zero in the tenths place, two in the tenths place, and another tie, zero in the tenths place. So our smallest has to be between these. Let's break it on to the hundredths. Here is two in the hundredths. Here is a zero in the hundredths. What is smaller, zero or two? Hopefully you know that zero is smallest, so one and three thousandths is our smallest. So that would mean that one and two hundredths would be my next smallest. Let's take a look here. One and twelve hundredths, we said we had a one in the tenths place compared to a two in the tenths place. Well, one is smaller than two, so he would be next. And then lastly, one and two tenths, in order from least to greatest. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. We're gonna go and arrange these numbers in order from least to greatest, right? So again, we're gonna start off looking at our whole numbers. Here is two and four tenths, 20 and 4 tenths, 2 and 41 hundredths, 2 and 4 hundredths, and lastly, 24 and 1 hundredth. So I got a three way tie going on right now. I have that guy who starts with the whole number 2, this guy starting with the whole number 2 and this guy over here is starting with the whole number two, right? So I gotta do some tie breaking. Let's take a look at what's going on in my tenth spot. Here is four tenths, here is four tenths, here's zero tenths. So zero is the smallest one, right? This would be my first one up, two and four hundredths. Now let's take a look here. We have some more tie breaking to do over in the hundred spot. Here is nothing, and here is one. What's smaller, nothing or one? And hopefully you know nothing is smaller than one, right? So two and four tenths is going to be my next one up. Then I know I can go to 2 and 41 hundredths. So now we're back to whole numbers again. What's smaller, 20 and 4 tenths or 24 and 1 hundredth? Hopefully you know it's 20 and 4 tenths. And lastly here, we have 24 and 1 hundredth. So that is the end not too tough if you understand your place value and do the two rules of first, compare the whole number side 
and then compare each decimal, please. Good luck on your credit.